Hey guys, this is Barwood Town, and welcome back to another Pokemon Shining Pearl playthrough video. So, it always feels like these videos get further and further stretched, but I've got a bit more time over the next, well, today, tomorrow, and Saturday to uh, get some Pokemon streams in. Um, I need to familiarise myself with where I got up to in the game. So, where are we being told to go? Tapastoria city uh yeah i hope everyone's doing well as well so i'm guessing i'm heading south and going down this way uh to give you guys a refresher on our teams we have penny we have butthole we have gastrodon who feels like i really should have given him a name he feels a little bit left out uh we have bob we have paragon and we have pumba uh pumba's not too far away from evolving paragon isn't i don't think Bo um, bob is too either so uh yeah let's keep this going uh first thing we're gonna do i've just seen the state of penny's health let's go and heal her up to recap from the last stream um yeah team galactic stole dawn's pokedex what bastards and uh yeah we, we tracked them down we got that pokedex back and we got fly and now i'm interested to see where we go Down south, making my way downtown. Still don't know what all the, like the meteorite bits and stuff are, are for around here. Okay, so I think I cleared some of these because I went and saw the Pokemon, uh, the Ribbon Dude in there. Um, I did plant a load of berries here as well. Only two. I feel a bit ripped off, to be honest. I remember planting them and watering all these and putting in all that effort. Four there. Can we get six? Nah, three. But citrus berries, citrus berries are still worth it. A weeb quad in the chat. Oh! Hey, weeb quad. How are you doing, bud? Uh, what's up, my man? Yeah, I'm good. Cheers, man. Um, got a bit of time to do some streaming, so I wanted to carry on with my Pokemon Pearl playthrough. I think I'm like halfway through the game. Maybe not even that far, to be honest. Um, but yeah, any excuse to jump through and get back on this game. How are you, bud? Have you had a good day? Um, let's just plant all these berries and then we'll go and water them. As we say, I like being a sustainable Pokemon player. Let's sprinkle some water. And let's sprinkle some more here. A Weep Quad, yes I have. Glad to hear you've had a good day, bud. What have you been doing? Is it school? Okay, so I think I beat all these trainers. No, so I beat that first one, not this one. Ideally, I want to get Penny evolved ASAP because she's just getting me killed. <laughs> I think Penny evolves at level 33, I think it is. So, what, we're 30 or 31? 31. So, we've got quite a comfortable uh, level difference. Just came back, actually. Oh, fair play then. Well, I'm glad that this stream's worked out kind of just in time for when you've gotten back, man. I trust you had a good day at school as well. Uh, so we're sending out another pony to ideal. We can just walk across it again. I did see a meme about this game that apparently there's only like two fire Pokemon in this game, and one of them is the starter if you go Chimchar, and the other one is Ponyta. Apparently there's a real lack of fire Pokemon in this game. And another Ponyta. So that's why this guy is stocked up on Ponytas. Penny, easy experience at the end of the day. I think we need some evolved Pokemon. Just to uh, beat them down. I think I've done an encounter here as well. There's some cool grass up there. I want to teach this girl something about uh, Pokemon. Um, fire doesn't get love. 
It's got some of the coolest Pokemon though, and some of the coolest attacks. It's a shame it doesn't get as much love as it could be. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to playing Arceus, but I think the Fire Ghost typing of Typhlosion looks really cool. Um, oh yeah, I completely forgot, we did some leveling up of our attacks, so now Penny's got a Psychic. Um, we've got some Pokemon with Ice Beam, we've got Thunderbolts, we've, we've really invested a little bit in our, in our team and our attacks. I hit you with a Psychic and you hit me with a Confusion. Penny seems a little bit worried about being able to do that. Bless her. The Psychic didn't do much, so let's try Aquatail. Yeah, that didn't do much either. I didn't think it would be effective. <laughs> Weeb <Weep> Quad. <laughs> Sorry, Professory. PC, Wormadab. <laughs> That's the evolved form of Burmy as well, isn't it? Or am I making that up? But hey, Professory, how are you doing, man? You having a good day? It feels weird have playing Pokemon that isn't in a text-based game. Uh, right, Akatel should finish it. Ah, oh, that's gonna make me flinch, isn't it? No, sweet. Yeah, I think that's an evolved version, so hopefully we'll get a bit more XP for beating it. Penny up to 32. Right, one more level and Penny will evolve. That'll be massive for us. You're good, thank you. Oh, good to hear, bud. Good to hear. Have you had a good day as well? Weebquad's had a good day. Had got home from school. I've had a good day. So, let's see if we get an encounter. Um, but yeah, how's your day been? Another Ponyta. I've seen so many Ponytas. None of them have been blue. Loads of regular, boring Ponytas. Uh, XP is XP. I'm not going to turn any of it away, though. Psyduck, like Penny's just so slow like this. I need, I really need the evolve just so that we get a bit more speedy. A weeb quad been playing JP. How has your Doken career going, man? How is JP going? The anniversary is lit. <laughs> yeah, the Doken anniversary is unreal. Um, I don't know if you saw my video earlier. I've now got um, the Super Saiyan Force. I managed to pull them in my summons earlier, so I am absolutely buzzing about that. I'm currently trying to uh, get all the um, awakening medals for the Super Saiyan 4s, but it's hard where I've got such a new account. I've literally got one uh, awakened, and that's, um, and that's, uh, uh, Final Form Freezer. I've, I've managed to get that one done, hoping that it'll make fighting all, like, the Saiyan, uh, Dota events a lot easier, but yeah, still struggling along with it. Um, Ada in the chat, and he's hosting me as well. Hi, Bar. Hey, Ada. Thank you for dropping by, man. Thank you for the host as well. Uh, how are you doing, bud? Uh, we've got... I've got none. You've got none of them. How many stones have you spent? I would have I would have thought that a fair people, a fair few people would have uh, pulled them by now. Um, although, I haven't got the blue boys. i got the Super Saiyan 4s, but yeah, the, the, the god boys and the blue boys have still evaded me. Uh, Professor, well, I've been working the entire day. Just finished 30 minutes ago as I'm self-employed. It's not that bad. It allows me to catch some fun. <laughs> well, I'm not self-employed. Like uh, I work from home a lot of the time, especially with all the pandemic stuff. So I get to work from home, and it means I get a little bit more freedom about uh, how many mons I can catch <laughs> whilst I'm supposed to be working. Um, but good to hear that you've had a good day, though. Glad to hear that you've finished for the day as well. Like That's pretty massive. Um, yeah, just glad to hear that you've had a good day, bud. Uh, Ada, good. Weeb Quad, my brother pulled them on the first try. That's just sometimes how it works, isn't it? Um, Paragon's kid, so, uh, little Paragon. Um, he has the maddest, like, the maddest luck on Doku. He just absolutely smashes it. I, I don't know what it is. Whatever banner he summons on, he gets exactly who he wants, like, within the first couple of summons. Um, I, I just can't explain it. Um, Ada, I LR'd STR... Gene V, Goku and Vegeta. Oh, is that um the fuse into Vegito? That is a good unit to uh, Rainbow, bud. Uh, L you LR'd them, not you Rainbowed. Apologies. Um, really good good unit to get up to LR. Their their leader skill alone is massive, and the fact that they'll be a really useful unit for you in all sorts of difficult content. Um, there depends how you want to use them. I'd just be wary. Um. In LR form, like when you transform them into Vegito, they do get slapped. 
They'll counter and do a lot of damage, but they'll take a lot of damage as well, man. Uh, that looks like there'll be an item there. Let's investigate. Oh, I'm enough with the ponytails. Unless they're blue, I'm not interested. I'm just going to waterfall them until they're dead. Case in point. Uh, Weeb Cod, you spent 300 stones. I suppose that's not too many. Um, I've created a new JP account specifically for this... Um, specifically for this anniversary and I've, I've, I've been able to get a fair few stones ground up to be fair i've gotten what um so i've done 300 and i've done another 450 stones worth of summons today so that's 750 i've spent uh i've got a little bit more left over I, i'm tempted to do a part three summon video but um yeah i've got I've got the Super Saiyan 4, so it's really just pulling those blue boys. I don't know whether everyone would want to see me do a third summon video. Especially where we just add androids as well. It feels I've done, literally done three summon videos in four days. Uh, I don't know if people want to go back to see me get slapped around by difficult content or not. Uh, Ada, I need 153 more dragon stones for the banner. Uh, when you say the banner, do you mean the 300 stone 77 unit multi? Um... We've got it. I've got three duplicates of the Tech Vegeta. I bought my first one of him today on JP. Um, amazing LRs to to have dupes in. Like, it's a really good banner. Even if you don't get the newest units, you are getting decent, like, very decent units that are going to help you in a lot of content. Um, I don't want to go in that grass. I've had enough fighting ponytails. All my days, I accidentally went in the grass, and I accidentally found another ponytail. Um... Professory, STR Vegito, slap me and I'll slap you back. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Like, if you deal 60k to me on a normal, I'm going to hit you for 2 mil in a, on a crit counter. <laughs> but typically, the enemy, especially in like um, long events, like Vegeta and Goku events, typically uh, the enemy's going to last longer than, uh, than Vegito can taking 60k in normal or something like that. All it takes from as well is to get caught out with a with a super attack, and he's just literally down for the count. It's just you got to, you just got to work it really carefully. I've got a big root, big root. Um, same. Mine is new. I'm doing boss rush. Boss rush is on my list. Um, I'm holding off a bit. Oh, I've got a, is that cricket too? Yeah. Um, first find of that. I'm going to catch him. Um. Yeah, I need to do all the boss rushes as well. I'm at the point, though, I'm so new. I'm struggling with Doken events. So I don't think I'm in a position to go and get um, all the boss rush stages done. I'm conscious that it's like, what, 400 stones that I can go and pick up pretty easily. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm quite at that point. After I've got a couple more of my uh, units awakened, um, it will be on my list of things to get done. Uh, I do really want to get the boss rushes done just so that I've got those extra stones to summon. I oh, didn't mean to kill the cricket tube. Um, but yeah, as long as I've got the stones, even if I don't use them on this banner and I want to save them for like the part two or or, or any other big content, um, yeah, I might do that. Uh, so we've got Icy Wind. I like that it can lower speed. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Ice Shard. So yeah, Pumba's got uh, Bulldoze and Ice Beam. So Pumba's looking pretty decent, to be fair. Uh, if I can just get him up to being a Pillar Swine and then a Mama Swine, he's going to be a really solid addition to the team. Uh, is there anything around here? Feels like there's an item there. So that's where I'm supposed to go. Don't want to go that way yet. Then I want to go and explore over here. I see a nice item here. Please, just no more ponies. Please. Uh, Ada, yup. Uh, Weeb Quad, I, but they're insane. You're not get, getting shafted. Exactly, you're not going to get shafted on this banner. Like, all you've got to do is just get a featured unit, and typically that featured unit is going to be solid. Like, you just can't, you can't go wrong with it. I think I was doing what? That I was in my summons today. I've got like five or six LRs off of 300 stones. I, you just can't go wrong with it. Like, Dogen Fest. Decent LR. Uh, Professor, you should check Soft's Discord. Oh dear. Oh dear. Why should I check Soft's Discord? What have I done? 
Have I been added in anything? What am I checking? Professor E, which, which bit am I checking? Which uh, channel? Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. Is it Poker 2? Oh, Wormadam! <laughs> that part of the town, look at that pre shot. That's a cool looking Wormadam as well. well how, come that one's, um, how come that one's brown? Is it like the autumn colour one? Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, in, in the Discord channels, you've got something called Poker 2, which is like a Pokemon catching text based game. And, um, and yeah, Wormadam was one of the first Pokemon we fought in this stream today. And a Wormadam popped up. Uh, Ada with three hydrates. Damn. One, two, three. I've got something a little bit better than water there, although I've just pretty much just finished it. Uh, a bit of a KFC earlier, so I was like, ooh, uh, I'll have that drink. Paragon wants to learn close combat. Hell yeah, he, he can learn close combat. He needed the better punch. Um, we'll get rid of Mac punch. I want to keep power up punch just so I can keep boosting up my attacks. Oh, damn. I've just seen the Poker 2 chat. Literally, it's just come up. PC Larvesta. I've just seen that crystal Larvesta you caught, Professor. I saw that. I'm going to try and keep my eyes off Poker 2, though, and focus on the stream. Um, Weave, I've got a pretty nice team. When you say nice team, what are you talking about? Walk us through your team. Uh, Ada, I'm just doing Dragon Ball history for Dragonstones. An excellent source of Dragonstones. I've had loads of missions that you can get done. Uh, Paragon's evolving. What's this? Infernape, I think, is the last version of uh, Chimcha. I I'm good at remembering the like the baby and the final evolution. I always forget like what the teenage middling is. There we go. Our Paragon evolved into Infer. Let's have a look at his data. Its crown of fire is indicative of its fiery nature. It is beaten by none in terms of quickness. So I'm expecting, in terms of IVs, like Paragon's speed to be right up there. Hopefully we'll get a few evolutions in this video then. We've started off with one there with Paragon. Um, Penny should be... It might even be this fight. Maybe the next one. Yeah, it could be this fight. Let's try Aquatel. If this misses and he uses self-destruct, Harden. It can use Harden all at once. If it self-destructed me, I'd have been fuming. Right, let's try Aquatel again. I need some more solid water attacks because Aquatel just keeps missing. Oh, of course, Sturdy. <laughs> it used Harden, then it used Sturdy. It's like the most basic rock Pokemon, like most typical rock Pokemon. Um, water Pulse should finish it. Let's go! Ada, I finally got over 500k health in my team and I still have to awaken two guys. Uh, that's a very healthy looking team though, Nader. Uh, that, like, fair play on getting that done. It's, health isn't massive in terms of like, de uh, defense is good, attack is good, but health just really helps you last longer. Like, there's a day when if you took 300k damage, like, that's uh, you're dead. Whereas now, you can have teams with over 600k health, and you get hit for 300k, and you're like, nah, half my health, that's, that's not too bad. I'll take that. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing to see how much health has come about. All right, let's go battle all these dudes. So, Penny, as long as Penny survives this fight, which I'm going to make sure she does, uh, Penny should evolve now. I just want to catch all these trainers, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next town. Shieldens, that's ideal. If I did find a Shielden, I would have to call it Sheldon. Uh, just for Big Bang Theory. And then we've got Penny, then we've got Sheldon. We're literally going to end up reuniting uh, Big Bang Theory in Pokemon. Uh, Ada, day six of the account, though. Uh, what, as in you only created the JP account six days ago? That's not too far. That's not too long at all. Uh, well, the biggest health in the game now is like 808k health. To be fair, I haven't even looked to see what the highest health like le limit I can get to is. I, I haven't had a look. Uh, I reckon it is pretty high. I think the highest I've got to is like the low 600k's. But that's just me like just generally building a team. Like I haven't gone full leader skill and everything like that. Uh, 
potentially with the new Super Saiyan 4s or uh, God Boys as lead if they're giving Kamehameha units extra stuff. Here we go. Penny is evolving. Give us that Golduck. Give us the speed. Gold. I remember that episode in the anime where uh, it's like old school where Misty Psyduck falls into a river or something and uh, Misty finds this Golduck and thinks her Psyduck's evolved and she's like swooning over this Golduck. It's the best swimmer among Pokemon but I'm pretty sure I read that about other Pokemon as well. But at least we have our Golduck. I think I've beaten all these. Or maybe not. Maybe not. So apparently this area is mystifying. I'm seeing some cool looking grass right next to me. It's a bit different to all the other grass. So we're going to try and encounter in there and see if it's any different to the others. But on JP. Yeah, sheesh. He or she dripping. <laughs> Penny is a girl. So Penny be dripping. I'm not sure how appropriate that is. <laughs> right, he's one shot in Cranidos. At least we've got that speed now. Like, this is massive for us. Uh, Ada, I don't know. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> I love that game. I, it was on my to do list to, to make um, a Pokemon version of it. <laughs> it's Pikachu! It's Clefairy! Fuck! <laughs> It's Labyrinth, you mean Clefairy. <laughs> good try, good try. Uh, Yoshi in the chat. Hey, Barwin. Hey, Yoshi. How are you doing, bud? You having a good day? Good to see you here as well. Like, everyone's just dropping in. It's just a nice, chill Pokemon stream. This, this is how I like my Pokemon streams to be. I, I do get that reference as well, Ada. I, I do love those jokes. There are some decent, like, Pokemon jokes out there. Uh, and memes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Yoshi, I'm doing good. It's my birthday today. So it is. You even went into the Discord yesterday to tell us. Oh, yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. Um, I did wish you happy birthday for yesterday for today. So at least I kind of said it. But anyway, happy birthday, Yoshi. I hope you've had a great day. Have you done anything with it? But I think I remember you saying that you're going out for dinner or something like that as well. Have you done that yet or is that still to come? Uh, Ada with the happy birthday with the uh, with the party popper emotes as well. Golduck is just a crazy Pokemon. Like I'm, I'm really happy that we got that side up when we did. Uh, Yoshi, thank you all. Ada, God bless you. Damn, this took a religious tone. Uh, Yoshi, not yet. We're doing stuff after four. So what time is it where you are? Out of curiosity. Uh, I, I just Again, just being nosy about where everyone is from around the world. Um, if anything, now that Penny's evolved, I'm going to... I'll leave her there for now, actually, just because uh, there's a lot of fire and rock Pokemon around. So having a having a water type up front is probably not the worst shout in the world. Um, Ada, I hit 32 follows, by the way. Congratulations, man. You'll be, uh, what is it, affiliate in no time. What are your average views looking like? Like, are you above the three? For me, I got to the I got to the three average views easy enough. It was just getting fifty followers, and that just took time. That took bare time. Uh, Weeb Quad, happy birthday, man! How old? Yeah, to be fair, I didn't. I think you said that yesterday, actually, and that's why I didn't ask. I knew there was a reason. Um, Yoshi, it's almost one o'clock. So, oh damn! So you're what? It's nearly six o'clock here. So you're five hours behind me. I'll have to try and remember that. Trying to remember time zones is always nice. Um, it's 12.55, so yeah, it, it's 5.55 or 5.56 now. Yeah, yeah. And you're 15, so congratulations on your 15th birthday, bud. Uh, again, I hope you've had an absolute smashing day. Have you had any good presents? That's what we all like to know. So you wanted the Switch, didn't you? And you were hoping for Arceus or, or Pearl. Did you get your Switch? If so, what games did you get? Or have you, you not found that out yet? Penny's just doing bits now. I think if I can get her Surf or something like that, 
Uh, right, let's avoid all these encounters. I, I just don't need them right now. Like, we're not shiny hunting. I just want to get to the next area. Just keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. So, Valor Lakefront. So this is a different area. So hopefully I can find some different Pokemon. Or not. Or I, or I just find more Bursies. I call these Bursies because we caught, a, we caught in the like one of the original videos of this... Uh, this series, we caught a, a Geodude named after one of the followers called Bursi. And uh, yeah, just every Geodude or Graveler that we beat now is just a Bursi. Ada, Roshi Hench, Applehan, and Summon Emotes. Yeah, you're, you're sub to both me and Paragon now, so uh, enjoy all of them emotes. Uh, Yoshi, my dad doesn't know if he can get it. He has to ask my mum if she can give him some money so he can get me the Switch. Well, fingers crossed, bud. Fingers crossed. And I suppose it's one of the good things with the Arceus coming out. You might be able to get it on like a bundle or something like that. So uh, you can get the Switch and Arceus kind of rolled into one. Like that might be something that they can do. Either that or like they are like most places do do some sort of bundle deal. Arceus is still on my list of things to buy, by the way. Like I, I desperately want Arceus, but it's realistically going to have to be a next month job. <laughs> Moshe in the chat redeemed first. <laughs> We've been going for like nearly half an hour now. And how has no one redeemed first? <laughs> and Paragon till here. Paragon till death is here as well. I was going to say Paragon till here. But Paragon till death is here as well. Oh, nice. Gold up. Yes. Um, he's not the only evolution we've had as well, Paragon. You, my friend. You, myself. You, my friend. Oh, I can't even talk now. You, my friend, have become an Infernape. If you'll look at that, you've got a shiny bell as well. Um, but yeah, Paragon is now fully evolved as well. And hey, Moshe, I didn't actually say the full hello, but thank you for redeeming first. Hope you're keeping well as well, man. Um, but yeah, let's go have a quick look at Paragon and show off. There is our Paragon. He, he looking good. He looking good. Um, right, I've got a doubles battle coming here. So if anything, I want Bob and Butthole. I think that'll work well. Oh, I thought it was going to be a doubles battle. What's this? Okay, so there's some sort of lake here. Like, again, legit, this is this is a completely new game for me. I don't know the, the layout or anything like that. Um, yes, Professor, it did. It, it only evolved literally five minutes ago, if that. So, uh, yeah, glad we've been able to get that evolved. And I've already noticed such a difference with it. Uh, the gold duck is already a lot faster. Um, I've just seen Yoshi redeemed. Tell a joke. Oh damn! All right. Mm. Did you hear about the guy who got his left side chopped off? He's all right now. Badum dum ch. Yeah, I, I'm disappointed in that one as well. I, I wasn't feeling that one. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. So I'm guessing there's an item tracker or something like that. So... I swear this is the item checker. Where is your key? Or has anyone played this and knows where the, that key is? I'm guessing it's going to be on the lake front or something. Hmm. I don't think I desperately need to get in there. I'm guessing she's going to find it, or I will be able to find it reasonably easy. I'm guessing that's the sweet key there, but I don't know how to get to it. Like, legit, how do I get to the item that's there? Hmm. Of course he's not going to let me through because I want to turn left. That's rude. Stop, stop. Yes, you... Sunny Shore City, which is down the road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed. The road is always closed. Um, right, let's go in here and have a look. Um, Ada Popo hype. Well, how was that joke? Was it not too horrendous? Uh, Moshe, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking, Bard. I'm about to beat Arceus. 
Oh, damn, you're about to beat it. So what's that? The game pretty much completed? I swear I saw in Arceus that you can beat, like, um, the, the, you can find all the different typings of Arceus. So I think you can find an Arceus and, like, all just the original types, like water, bug, dark, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so apparently I can battle here as well. Um, who have I got up front? I think it's Bob. Um, you know what? Let's put Pumba up front. He's going to be a little bit slow, but he's got some unreal attacks. Okay. Okay. She want to go? We'll go. Um, the Arceus himself. <laughs> That's what Aidas put as well. Mocha should have specified the game Arceus Legends. Oh, I thought you meant you were about to beat the Arceus. You, you just mean you're about to beat the game. <laughs> I get what you mean. <laughs> uh, I've, have you seen how slow Dog's been going with it? Like, Do Dog has legit been going so slow because he wants to get like 100% uh, completion. So, yeah, he's just gone proper slow. Uh, anything I probably want to slash it. Um, but, yeah, he, he's literally going for 100% completion. He's getting all the big ones, small ones. Uh, he's, got, he's found, what, a shiny Badoof. And he's found a shiny Lux Ray that he found earlier, from what I remember he put in the chat. Um, <laughs> Ada, thanks, but I don't need an Echo. <laughs> Echoed in the chat. Hello. Hi, Echoed. Hope you're keeping well, especially after everything you and uh, Skulls have been going through the last couple of days. I'm glad to hear that you're both doing okay, that you're both safe as well. Ada laughing at being called a shadow. Uh, speaking of Echoes, Echo Knight, to be fair, that is pretty good timing. Um, okay, so Icy Wind should take care of Finion. We'll go for a slash on Goldeen, I'm thinking is the right way to go. Um, Echo Knight with a quiet Paragon as well. How is everyone doing tonight? Like, I know it's a pretty chill Pokemon stream, but yeah, how is everyone doing today? Like, I know I've been speaking to Ada, Professor all day. Well, feels like all day, but uh, for the last half hour at least anyway. Um, but yeah, Paragon, how was your day? Echoed, how has your day been as well? Slash, and there we go. I can't believe that Dog got to name one Pokemon and he called that Pokemon Butthole. Like, I just can't believe it. He wants to hold the name Dog for a Growlithe. But you can't catch Growlithe in this game. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use Bulldoze again because that's going to hurt my butthole. See, I can't I can't use any Pokemon name. It just doesn't work. Uh, Ada, good. <laughs> I, that, that must be really good. Uh, Echoed. Yeah, we're both okay right now, but things could go very south. Yeah, I've, I've seen that on the news, and I, I'm trying to keep up to date with the situation. So, uh, at least not, nothing major, major serious has happened yet. And hopefully it stays that way, and hopefully they can just get everything under control. Um, Paragon, at Echoed Knight, hoping for the best for all of you. 100%. I think we all are... Ho prayers and and everything like that goes out and hopefully that fire just doesn't um just doesn't keep getting worse so for those of you who don't know um there's a fire going on in north carolina like i think it's like a fertilizer plant where there's a lot of explosives so if the explosives catch then uh there could be a lot of problems but hopefully that doesn't happen and and everyone can stay safe um ada what even is that ada is a little green man or am I just being dumb? Uh, this could be a Pokemon. Could it be? Then, then what would that Pokemon be called, Ada? What would you call it? Okay, so we're going for another... Is this another, another doubles battle? Okay, so we're, we're just fighting bored diners. It feels like this restaurant should have better entertainment if the only way we can entertain them is by literally beating up their Pokemon while they eat. Um... At Barwa Town, yeah, but okay. Sorted out one customer who's being a bit of an angry baby. Got another customer who thankfully is being a tad more reasonable. I suppose that's one of the things doing what you do, so where you where you deal with the kind of frustrated customer in a lot of situations. Um, yeah, I can imagine that you deal with a lot of uh, angry babies, as you call. Them. Um, but yeah, at least you, you get some reasonable ones. It can make it a little bit easier. Ada, a tortoise. With a ack? What does, what does that mean? A tortoise with an AK? Yeah, but you can't call a Pokemon tortoise with an AK. That just wouldn't be allowed. I don't know. 
I'm thinking. I'm looking at it, thinking Alienamon, and then that's just that's just a Digimon name. Uh, Paragon isn't Tortuga or a Pokemon. This is just a blue turtle rather than a green gun wielding one. <laughs> Tortuga is a Pokemon. You are right about that. Uh, we wouldn't want two similar names. Oh no, my butthole! They killed my butthole. They violated my butthole. What the hell? Go Bob. Go Bob. Um, Paragon. Oh yeah, I mean Tortuga. It was something like that. Something like that. You weren't far wrong. Um, is Bulldoze? Bulldoze would be super effective. So no, we, no, no. We do not want to do that, sir. Um, so, Mr. Mime's dead, at the very least. I've just seen um, when Pumba's gone to attack, he's lifted his little legs up. I didn't realise how small his legs were underneath all that. <laughs> They're tiny. Uh, little things in the day. Little things that help us get by. Um... Ada, well, yeah, that's the kid echoed. What? <laughs> Ada! What? <laughs> what even is that supposed to be? Is it just eyes or, or, or what's going on? Um, okay, so I think my Pumba's dead as well. And this Psyduck's just ruining me. Um, Gastrodon's OP. Penny's pretty OP. Um, we'll go. Gastrodon, I think. Uh, Golduck isn't going to be too effective, and neither is um, neither is Paragon here. So we just go and go body slam this guy. And uh, extra sensory, I think. Although Psyduck's got. Oh damn! I've just I've just selected my own Pokemon for the attack. Thank God. Thank God. I thought I was literally about to use extra sensory on my own Gastrodon by accident, like. What's that? Ricochet friendly fire on Call of Duty? Uh, Ada. It's a Tortuga. They call him. A tortoise version of Kermit. Uh, to be fair, that green emote that you added did look a little bit like Kermit. Like, I can I can see the resemblance there. So, we... The models of great paintings all look very different. It means I don't need to worry about fitting in. True, true. Um, have I got a revive? If anything... I'm not too fussed if one of my kind of ones that I can't evolve dies, but I want to try and keep the ones that can evolve alive and going. Um, let's put Paragon in the front, and Gastrodon is pretty tanky. Let's let's go and put Gastrodon in that first slot as well. And now we shouldn't we just shouldn't have any issues with these fights. I'm assuming that if I go and beat all these restaurant eaters, restaurant eaters, or these restaurant diners or guests or whatever you want to call them, I'm guessing I get some sort of item or something. They, they shouldn't just be here just for the sake of it. Uh, I've got a baby and daddy uh, Pokemon, Bonsly v and Sudowoodo. Uh, right, Paragon is should be fine for Bonsly. And Muddy Water as well. Muddy Water attacks both of them as well, to be fair. I didn't realise that. Of course, sturdy, amazing, 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 amazing. Uh, <laughs> Echo, do a flip. <laughs> Ada, do a flip. Are you just copying everyone, Ada? Oh, damn, man. Don't be that guy. Don't start copying people. I want people to have a good time. I don't want you just to just annoy them. Um, that's Bonsley dead. And I'm guessing Sudo would have survived that attack. Stone Edge. Oh, damn. That could hurt. I think we've got a decent level. Echoed. I was about to say something that would not be okay. <laughs> You're always about to say something that would not be okay. It's fine. We're used to it. Um, power Up Punch again on the Pichu, I'm thinking. Uh, and then I think a Muddy Water will definitely kill Sudder Widow. Uh, it should help finish off. Uh, well, but Pichu does not need finishing off. Uh, but anyway, Echo, what was it you going to say? I do like getting a good chuckle from your dirty mind. Uh, Ada, okay, sorry. No, it's fine, man. Just obviously, like, be respectful. Like, pe people come here to relax as well. Um, Ada, what are you playing this on? I'm playing it on my Switch. Um, literally, just got my Switch. I've got it plugged into my Elgato, which is now in my laptop. And, uh, yeah, literally just playing it on the Switch as if, it, as if I was just playing an Xbox or something like that. Ada, Nintendo. Yep, yeah, exactly, man. Um, depending on how long I can keep 
this going for for uh, for Pokemon. I might do a little bit of Crash Bandicoot later on today as well. Uh, I'll, I'll see how I feel and whether we can get through the next gym and all that kind of stuff as well. I I am conscious that this game, this like playthrough, is taking me ages. So uh, yeah, I want to try and pick up the speed when I can. <laughs> but I'm just having too much fun playing Doken and other games at the moment. Um, especially where this isn't like the hypest game anymore. If this was Arceus, I'd be all over it. But um, but yeah, Pokemon Part. I don't know. It's just it's just taking me a while to get through. Uh, echoed, yeah, because that's me. I'm just naturally that way. Nothing wrong with that. I love a dirty mind. Um, I th think I'm just gonna close combat. I feel like Marrow's also a fairy type, so it might n not even be a fairy type. I'm just pretty sure it is. It might be a Zoomerill that's the fairy type. Ada, ah, uh, okay. Uh, Yoshi, I'm a share stream to some of my friends because you were really nice and deserve the love. Oh, fair play, Yoshi. Really appreciate that, man. Yeah, any exposure I can get to other friends or other communities, 100% take that. Really appreciate the love, bud. Um, yeah, 100% introduce them, and uh, you'll always be the guy that introduce them to the next up and coming streamer. You know, uh, Ada. Yeah, me too. All just because the anniversary and events really good. Well, that's it, especially um, especially where I've now got the JP account just so I can kind of grind stones and do that kind of thing as well. Like, there's just so much doken going on. Like, we've, where we've had the anniversary and tech androids drop on global within a couple of days of each other. Like, there's just there's just so much going on. Um, heavy slam. So that's not going to be particularly good now, but uh, it will be when we get bronze on. If anything, I'm not too fussed about safeguard. So I, I, I'm glad that we've got a decent steel attack now. And there's the body slam from Gastrodon. And the paralysis. I was about to go, how has it survived with one HP? Meryl doesn't have sturdy. Uh, I think it was just RNG. Paragon is waiting for my directions. Um, let's power up punch for the dub. I'm going to be careful not to punch Gastrodon this time. So yeah, since I actually brought out the big boys, Gastrodon and Infernape, we just, we just haven't been touched really. No issues. Rather than putting the babies out and letting them try to evolve, I think... It's one of the good things about Pearl, to be honest, is I think it's just like an automatic XP share. Everyone everyone in your party is getting XP. Apom. Oh, Apom's not, not surviving this at all. Uh, um, power up punch with a 15 level difference. Uh, yeah, we, we should be good here. Um, we'll go for a body slam as well. Boom. There we go. How do you like them apples? Just realizing, I think I had that Barber Town logo there just from a crash stream. I think, if anything, now I might move it over here and see how that works. Uh, Yoshi, <laughs> rather, Paragon at Yoshi with the love. Yeah, well, yeah, I appreciate that. Like, especially, it's always just nice hearing good things about the work that you're doing. So, if someone comes in and says, I oh, really nice and deserve love. Like, that's just really nice thing to hear anyway, especially about like a project or a hobby that you put a lot of in stuff into. But equally, if you think other people are going to enjoy the content, in the end, I'm a content creator and I want to I want to entertain people. Uh, Yoshi, I realize that I can't use Apple Hard Emote anymore. Uh, so that'd be either your subscription expired or your random emote would have expired. You can try and... Re I think you can redeem it through channel points as well. I think you can redeem random one with channel points. Or you can redeem a... You can choose who you redeem for a, for a little bit more. Um, maybe that'll be an option. Or, of course, if you want to resub, um, then you'll have access to all of them again. Uh, power up punch. To be fair, we're so high level at this point. I feel like... Uh, power up punch should be able to one hit a lot of these. It's a low punny. It's an echoed. I think I, I can't remember if I actually managed to evolve my binary into a low punny. Can't remember or not. A uh, Yoshi. I had subscription before because I won the guest of the unit. I thought you did. Yeah, I, I was pretty. I, I could remember gifting you a sub, so I couldn't remember. Oh, cute charm on low from low punny. Paragon is in love with low punny. Damn. Uh, but Lopunny's dead, so I don't know how that worked. 
and then we heal. Um, but yeah, I think I remember gifting you a sub from a guest the unit. Like, so that's one of the good things about doing it from a guest the unit thing. Uh, gifting subs from guest the unit. Literally anyone and everyone has a chance, especially if like some of the big boys like Dog, Tyranda, and Paragon, where, where they're already subbed and they don't, they might not choose to engage in the game because they want the sub to go to someone else. Uh, we've had so many different members of the community all subbed at one point just so that they can have that play around with some of the emotes and stuff. And the emotes, I think, have gone down really well. So I'm, ju I'm just glad that you guys are enjoying being part of the community. Uh, Banana King, welp. welcome to the to the stream, Banana King. How are you doing, bud? I just uh, did something kind of bad. Oh, dear, bud. Oh, dear. What is it you did? Come on, tell us. Um, that's glammy out dead. Uh, I don't want to keep using all of my ancient powers. So, to be fair, a level 33 or 34 Gastrodon's body slam should kill a Hoot Hoot. And what were they even thinking with that name? We're going to make an owl Pokemon. What noise does the owl make? Hoot. Okay, we'll call it Hoot Hoot. Like, come on, guys. A uh, few good evolves there. Pumba up to level 31. I, I I was thinking Pumba won't evolve until it's like level 40, but I'm just thinking about it, and it's still got to go to Mamoswine. So, unless it evolves via doing certain thing. I'm actually going to have quickly look up how to how to evolve that. It's Pillow Swine, isn't it? It goes from pil Pillow Swine to Mamoswine. Pillow Swine Evolution. So, Pumba's going to evolve into level 33, um, and then it evolve, and then Pillow Swine evolves into Mammoth Swine when it knows Ancient Power and gets evolved. Okay, so I need to try and teach it Ancient Power. <laughs> um, how do I teach it that? Is there a certain level that it evolves, that, uh, or rather a certain move? So it will learn Ancient Power at level 34. So essentially it will evolve. It's, that's nonsensical, isn't it? It will evolve into what you want at level 33, and then it will evolve again at level 34. I think that's everyone beaten. So is that literally just it? Uh, let's just see if there's any items. No. Oh, I, I thought I'd at least get some sort of item or something like that. Uh, Banana King accidentally joined an 18 plus stream because I only looked at the language and uh, made a joke that they didn't really like. Uh, well, even if it's 18 plus, I, yeah, so some people will not approve of some, some jokes. Uh, so I'm guessing that this person's just dropped her key around here, like somewhere in this vicinity. I'm guessing this is, like, it's not a town that we've entered, so it's just like a hotel or something. Oh, it's directors. Hmm. Come show me your decks when you filled it. Okay. So they've always got one of those like directors in every game where you can go and uh, complete, show your completed decks to. Come on back here after you defeated the champion. Don't forget about me. Oh, damn. So, I guess I'm going to end up forgetting about him. Um, it feels like there's going to be an item here, but I'm just getting trolled. Oh, damn. I could, there was actually an item up there that I could have gotten. Um, but, yeah, be, always be careful about who you're with when you're making jokes. Because some people will... Some people don't appreciate, like, especially if it... It depends on the type of joke as well. Um, don't repeat it here, just in case... Uh, we don't want anyone getting offended either. Uh, trick Room. So Trick Room could be useful. I, I remember Trick Room being used a lot on the competitive scene. That person has a really cool guitar. Did not mean to check the gash... Uh, the gash can? The trash can. A magical encounter is in the winds, though I cannot tell if it will be a Pokemon or a trainer. Well, a magical encounter, I'm assuming that means like uh, my Palkia encounter that I'm going to have later on. Right, let's go down here. The thing is, I don't even know how I didn't see these stairs, like how that didn't click. Because I was literally right here talking to someone. 
Uh, Yoshi, what was the joke? One of my friends said he's going to watch stream in a second. Uh, no, fair play. I'm probably not wise to repeat the stream. I'm just conscious that this isn't rated as like an 18 plus stream. And I'd rather not ha get any strikes or anything like... Um, Bakan... I'll try and pronounce this again. Bakasanji? Is that right? Yeah, 12. Mwahaha, I am here. Welcome to the ch uh, welcome to the stream, bud. Here is your follow. Appreciate that, man. What's that, 114 follows now I think we're on? Absolutely smashing it. I'm guessing you're Yoshi's friend. At Bakasanji? Uh, is that like a tortilla or what is that? What is that? But no, welcome to the stream, bud. Thank you for dropping by. And even more, as I say, I really appreciate the follow. Um, yeah, really nice of you, bud. Really nice of you. Uh, how do I keep going? Like, I want to go left. So there has to be a way to continue. I can't literally get there. I haven't got the hidden move that I need there. I can't keep going south. Ah, there we go. It was literally just me being dumb. <laughs> uh, Yoshi, yep, he's my friend and is a Dorito. <laughs> Why would someone make a Dorito emote of all things? <laughs> but anyway, Baka, uh, Baka Sanji, that's probably the better way to call you. Um, how are you, bud? Are you having a good day as well? Uh, obviously, you've come here from Yoshi, but what kind of games do you normally play? Are you a, are you a Dokken player as well? Okay, fully healed. That's what we like to see. A red shard. So, I'm guessing I can do something with that. I stand stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. What even Pokemon is that? That's a uh, Gastrodon. Or Shellos. It, like, that version. <laughs> like, that's one thing I love about this game. Like, look how cool the water looks. All right, let's go and beat up these children so that I can rob their money. I'm guessing I'm not going to get very much money from these fights. Obviously, they are children. Um, Bakasanje, good. Well, glad that you're good, man. Glad that you're keeping well. Uh, Yoshi, he played Doken before, but he doesn't have too good of an account. Well, we've all been in that position with Doken where we've, we've all started off with either a not good account or an account that we've needed to invest in, um, put some time into. Um, obviously, if you, uh, it's up to you if you're not playing Doken anymore. But if you if you do, are still playing, feel free to join, as I say, the Discord as well. If you do need help with content or friend leads and that kind of thing, like it's a really good place to be from that perspective. Before I had the Discord, I would be struggling on things like chain battle, and since I've kind of had the community, I think I've hit top one or top two percent in every chain battle since. Uh, we've just hit top one. I think there was a good four or five of us in the end that uh that hit top one percent so yeah if you're still playing doken and want the, that support system and uh and even if you just want to flex your summons feel free to for to join there uh i just hit my kneecap <laughs> oh damn oh damn how did you hit your kneecap like what did you hit it on are you literally just walking around with like your phone or something here have you got me off playing off your tv uh this kid's just got loads of shell losses I thought you could only start your Pokemon adventure when you were like seven or eight, like my age. And the, I see so many kids here that just have all the Pokemon. I'm just going to keep power up punching them. Tubert Jared. Actually love that name. I've always loved the name Jared just because of Jared Leto from uh, 30 Seconds to Mars and uh, the Joker actor. So let's battle all these whippersnappers, and I'm guessing I can keep going left. Tuba Chelsea. Well, at least she's only got one. Is it a Shellos? No, it's a Bibberel. We can absolutely punch that Bibberel out of here. I'm guessing we're going to use Power Up Punch. Paragon is awaiting your directions. Well, my direction is to Power Up Punch this Bibberel. Uh, Yoshi at uh, Back and Sanji. Uh, you can join their Discord and they will help you more better at Doken than I can. Yeah, well, we, we do what we can. Like, if you need help building a team and all that kind of stuff, like, a lot of us do enjoy that aspect of playing Doken Battle. Um, trying to build teams and help other people out. Just because sometimes it's a challenge, because not everyone has, like, rainbowed boxes and they have every unit. So, it's always interesting trying to be flexible and, uh, and build teams for people. 
Um, there's a fancy hotel and a fancy place with a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant's filled with fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. I mean, cool story, bro. Can I catch Pokemon by smashing these rocks? I'm guessing not. And I've stopped this guy from catching a fish. Uh, like, is, are fishes actually a real thing in the world of Pokemon? Like, does he mean a fish Pokemon? Or, I'm guessing it's a fish Pokemon? I like that he, that animation was he swung his rod with a Pokeball on the end and it's just brought his Magikarp out. That's a pretty cool little animation. Um, Be Bakasanje, I need a phone first. You do, he had. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You've not got a phone, so how did you manage to play Dokken before then, man? Um, how's your B-Day going? Yes, it is his birthday. Uh, 15, so I'm guessing you're around about the same age as well, Baka. Uh, Yoshi, nothing much so far, just sitting in bed. Well, I think you've got everything to come. Like you say, it's what, half one in the afternoon for you? Like, I suppose you'll be going out, I think you said you're going out for dinner, and if you can get your Switch later as well, you'll, you'll end up being a lot busier than you are now. Just, just enjoy the quiet time while you can, bud. Enjoy it while you can. Uh, intimidate. Okay, that's not very good for me. If anything, I messed up there. I should have switched out. Um, Gyastrodon is going to be a good counter for Gyarados. I just, I'm just having flashbacks of the last time we encountered a Gyarados in a trainer battle, and I, yeah, that that triggered me so bad. I don't want to do that again. So Gastrodon, it shouldn't take too much damage from this waterfall. And then I'm going to Ancient Power the hell out of this Gyarados. I don't even think we need like the, the boost that Ancient Power could give us. Just because, yeah, two hits and you should be dead. Nah, you get out of here. You ain't hurting me. You don't know me. And that's Gyarados down. Uh, Remoraid shouldn't be too bad. Like, I haven't caught... I haven't found, like, any Pokemon I'd be like, oh, that's a really rare find or anything like that yet. Like, I am waiting for, for a nice rare Pokemon. Um, Bakasanje, I'll see to come over around 2.30. Oh, yeah, I suppose. That's only, like, an hour's time for you guys. Uh, Yoshi, all right, because I won't be here after 5, I'm sure. I suppose that that's just you guys making plans. I don't even know why I'm reading it out. <laughs> um, right. What's this? Footprints reveal all. Tell me more, sir. Okay. So how does my Paragon feel about me? Barwood is a remarkable human and trainer. Like, I, I might need to screenshot that. In fact, I am going to take a picture and then put it in the Discord. Because you know what? We have some doubters, Dog Help Desk. Um, not thinking that I am a remarkable human and trainer. You know what? I've got that picture ready to go in the Discord. Whenever, whenever someone's being mean to me, I'll be like, I'm a remarkable human and trainer. Um, when we travel, I see wild Pokemon eyeing us enviously. Oh, damn. Footprint ribbon. Oh, so I'm guessing that's something I can put on for like the Pokemon contests and that kind of thing. But it's good to know that Paragon thinks so highly of me. Um, honey tree. I haven't really found any honey Pokemon. I'm never like around for when the honey tree uh, can start shaking. I don't think I've even got honey. No. I need to go find honey from somewhere. Um, Biomaro. Catch a Charizard or unfollow. <laughs> Can you actually get those Pokemon in the, in this game? I didn't think you could get like um, the Gen ones in this. You certainly can't catch them. I'm sure that I'm guessing there's a way you can catch them somewhere else. Um, but yeah, please don't unfollow. Uh, hey, Bomaro, how are you doing, bud? Are you having a good day as well? Like everyone just seems to be having a good day. Everyone's been smashing it. It's Yoshi's birthday. He's having a good day, and I've had a great day. And yeah, everyone just seems to be in a really good mood today. So hope that continues. Hopefully, you've had a solid day as well. Uh, Yoshi, we need to grab Eric. <laughs> Again, that's just you making plans. Um, right, I'm actually going to have a quick look. Shining Pearl. Charmander. Can you catch him? 
So. All the starters from previous generations are back. And as you'd expect, there are some of the most sought-after ones. Uh, how to catch Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle in Diamond and Pearl. To catch the Gem 1 starters, you'll need to complete the main story of the game and obtain the de uh, national decks. Once you've done this and have access to the fight area, head there by sailing. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so you can find them underground. Okay, well, that's good to know. So I can get a Charmander for you by tomorrow. It's just going to take me probably a good 12 to 15 hours of gameplay to get it. <laughs> Would that do? <laughs> by tomorrow. Wow, no Gen 1 Pokemon. I'd burn this game down. No, there's a few. Like I've got Penny and Go I've got Penny who's now a Golduck. But uh yeah, I didn't I didn't know where I could find the Gen 1 starters. So they are in the game, but they're in the post game. So it's going to take me a good bit of time to get there. Um, you saved yourself. I'll take that. I'll take that. When we've completed the post game, though, I 100% will go get that Charmander so I can do a Charizard. Uh, there's something on top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me that. How am I supposed to climb up? So there's like a rock climb or something like that. So there's grass, but there's an item up there as well. So yeah, ideally, I do want to go get that. Um, okay, new route. New encounter. Is there any Pokemons? A Buizel. I've already got a Buizel, so no interest. No, no. No, no. Um, I feel mean punched him, but I'm a punch him. I feel like a, a good number of my Pokemon are very superiorly. Is that a word? Uh, but they are very superior in terms of level. Like, Paragon's nearly level 40 at this point. Two Lapapa Berries. Yeah, we want to pick them. What are these? The rawest ones. So they're the ones that cure burns, I think. And I can't think of what the ones on the left here are. It looks like a Fomantis or a Lamantis. Aguav. I'm guessing they power up water type attacks. I'm thinking that, or if I'm getting them mixed up with something else. Aguav. Restores the user's HP in a pinch, but it will cause confusion if the user hates the taste. Oh damn! Um, was not expecting that. But let's go plant them. Uh, as we as we always say, we are a very sustainable Pokemon community here. We we do like to replant berries so that we can find more of them later. And citrus berries are always really helpful as well, so we'll get some of them planted. And then you know what? We like happy plants, so we'll give them a quick water. All happy. And it's just that one random one that didn't get wet. Let, let's go back and water that one as well. Um, right, we'll go for a couple more encounters here. Just in case there is uh, something decent. Is that a Floatzel? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I haven't caught a Floatzel yet. So it'll save me evolving a Weasel. Weasel! Um, Paragon is reassured by your scent. <laughs> okay, right, let's try a fire attack. Hopefully that's not going to kill him as well. Nah, we're, we're good. We'll go throw some Great Balls. Like, Floatzel is like a massive improvement on Buizel. He goes from, th what, is it three tails to a bigger three tails? Literally, the only thing that improves is his flotation device. Uh, Netball's... Yeah, this is a water type, so we'll go with the netball. Save me using a great ball if I can. Oh, sweet. Critical catch. Let's have a look. It's flotation sack developed as a result of pursuing aquatic prey. Floatzel carries people as if it were a rubber raft. And yet, I still will have to surf on a bibberal. I've got this Floatzel that is amazing as a flotation device, but I can't use it to surf. Hmm. One more encounter. Oh, damn. Wild Shellos. So that's the other colour. So I think I've got the Gastrodon, which is the evolved form of like the red one. So, yeah, we'll try that. We'll go for a flame wheel and see if that kills this one. 
No, again, we'll go for we'll go for a nice netball as well. Back of Sanji, Nani. <laughs> I want it. It does look pretty cool. Um, I could have a Gastrodon of each color in my team. But then I've got Penny, who's probably my other water Pokemon, and is the only one that knows Psychic Attack, so I wouldn't want to have too much exposure to water. I want it. Uh, right, we'll send it to the box. Um, where we just found two out of three new Pokemon there, I'm going to go for one more encounter, just in case. Uh, no, we, we, we don't need the Shellos again. <laughs> Yoshi, so which Pokemon is this? This is Shellos. But it's like the... I always forget get like my north, east, south and west. This is the eastern version. Whereas the western version is like... Um, like a reddy one. Reddy colour. It looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've already got the fully evolved one of the red one on the team. So that Gastrodon is the red version. But yeah, let's go into the next town. I'm guessing that's on the other side here. a long way from Vealstone. I'm exhausted. Well, get up. Pastoria City. Here we go. Uh, what are you doing here, bud? Team Galactic. Girl, this is so annoying. What is it? Some kid with only three gym badges. Like twerps. Like you should know to stay out of our way. Now, this package from Vailstone, where should I set it off? So he's going to set off a package. Hmm, that's very suspicious. Um, uh, thank you for the stickers. Uh, which Pokemon is this? Pokemon Shining Pearl. Oh, that's what you mean. I thought you meant like what Pokemon was it I, fa I found. Um, I didn't realize you meant like what game. Yeah, this is Shining Pearl. Uh, I think a lot of our, a few of our followers have got diamonds. So I, if anything, I'm glad that I've got kind of a different one. Okay, so I need to give it Poppins to get a scar. See, I've never been that into like the uh, into the poffin element of the game and that kind of thing, but I guess I need to be. Uh, right, let's heal up and let's go to the gym. I don't know what typing this gym is, so I'm hoping having Paragon up front is going to be okay. Like, our team will be pretty solid if we can get that Bronzor into a Bronzong, if we can get the Mammoth Swine and the, uh, uh, is it Drapion, I think? Like, our team's looking good. That's why they say they're a rare Pokemon that you can only see there. Oh, rare Pokemon, you say? Why didn't you say that earlier? It said there's an observatory. Okay, so yeah, I want I want to go get those rare Pokemon. I want it. I want it. I want it. Um, Yoshi, yeah, I miss it. Want to play some sort of Pokemon game soon? Well, hopefully that you get your Switch and you'll be able to, especially if you get like online with it as well. You'll be able to start smashing. Uh, if you want to do Pearl or Arceus, you can do battles and trades and all that kind of thing as well. Okay, so just loads of uh, nice contextual information there. Oh, damn. Loads of things here. So I'm probably going to make this bit of dirt all citrus berries because it's quite an easy to access like piece of dirt. So if I can get like just loads of citrus berries, it'd be helpful just to give us items later on. Uh, what is the best one I should get, Barwood? It depends what kind of game you want. If you want like an old school Pokemon title, um, Pearl and Diamond are always good shouts. Sun and Moon, not Sun and Moon, um, Sword and Shield look really good. Like, I've played Sword and Shield, and if you can get um, Sword and Shield with, like, the um, expansions, they are amazing games. Like, uh, they are on my list to go and buy it again, because I played them, completed them, loved them, and then sold them on when I was just done with them. Um, but they're on my list to go get again. Um, otherwise, Arceus is, like, game-breaking at the moment. Like, it's completely changed the way Pokemon games are played. So Arceus would be a good shout as well. But this, you can't really go wrong, to be honest. 
Um, in terms of price, they're all pretty much similar. In terms of player base, you're going to have a pretty big player base with all these games as well. Um, what would you do with it? Would it just be like a one and done? You do the story mode and then you, you're done? So where he's sit, standing, he's smack dab in the middle of town. So I need to surf them. Uh, I've got a heart scale, but I don't want to use it yet. Because I might want that to backdate and uh, backdate something. So, where you're bang in the middle, there's a Pokemon Mansion. I mean, it's a pretty big town, to be fair. I was just literally guessing there's an item here running around pressing A, and I found a full heal. I'll take that all day. Um, uh, let's go into the gym after this building. Why are these both, like, just staring at a wall? A row app berry. That's pretty cool. Gives berries every day. Okay, so I'm definitely going to make sure that we're coming back here. Um, right, let's let's get going into the gym. What typing is it? The masked master. How sinister does that sound? Okay, so I'm guessing it's a water type. So this will probably give me surf after this. I'm not great to water, to be honest. Um, probably Gastrodon's going to be my best bet because I can just body slam everything and I'm not going to be taking too much either. Right, what do I do here? So I'm guessing I need to step on the switches to activate them. I'm going to battle all these trainers as well. I'm assuming that I have to beat them as we go along anyway. I do enjoy these like little challenges that they have because it just it's like a brain teaser. It just makes you have to think. Go on then, Weasel. You want to go? And yeah, we're just going body slam. Uh, Yoshi, I want to do one that doesn't end after the story. Um, if you want to do that, Ultra Sun and Moon has a pretty solid um, post game where you've got Ultra Beasts and that kind of thing. If you want maybe re replayability, probably Sword and Shield will be your best bet. Um, it's, it's the hard thing. All of the games end, but there's always like extra stuff to do. Like in Arceus, you can literally go and fill out the data for every Pokemon, so it's got like a real replayability or continued collectability for Arceus. Um, like, I'm so excited to actually go get that game. It's uh, I'm just not going to be able to get it for, well, until the end of the month, really. Okay, so that hasn't really done anything for me. Unless I can keep going down here now. Okay, so that's that switch. Well, that's, again, I just want to battle everyone just so that... Well, firstly, I want to get all the XP. But I'm guessing I'm going to need to battle most of them at some point anyway. And this wasn't even a very good trainer. He was literally just staring into the water. I probably could have done this whole thing and avoided talking to him. Oh, damn, it's a steakhouse you're going for your birthday, Yoshi. For, like, nice. I love a steakhouse. We've got, a, we've got a good one where I... Well, we've got loads where I live, but there's a, there's a really good one that my dad used to take us to. And, uh, yeah, you just can't go wrong with a good steak. It's probably my... Like, steak and chips is probably my favourite meal. Uh, we'll go for another body slam. Body slam seems to be treating us well. Ada redeemed hydrate. Thank you for still being here as well, Ada. Uh, I will happily hydrate because actually I was just thinking that my throat was pretty dry and I was trying to fumble around and see where my bottle of water was. So yeah, appreciate that, bud. Because I was so thirsty, it wasn't even like just one sip. I just had like four massive gulps. <laughs> I actually needed that. Uh, let's go for muddy water. 
I don't think I've got a Pokemon named after you either, Ada. Uh, we'll do that. The next Pokemon we catch, I'll name after you, bud. But I don't think I've named any after you yet. Uh, Yoshi, same here. I love steak. Steak is amazing. What cut do you normally go for? Like, you've got your rump, um, sirloin, ribeye. Like, you've got, you've got all those different. Muddy water didn't do anything. Let's try ancient power. Unless I'm just confused. Yeah, I was confused. <laughs> but yeah, I've always been a more of a rump man. Like, uh, it's a little bit cheaper, so you can get more of your steak. Um, I've just never really been a fan of, like, sirloin and all that kind of stuff. But a good rump steak. Um, maybe a little bit of peppercorn sauce, some onions, some decent chips. Like, oh. I just made myself hungry. Like, just that talk of steakhouse got me going on a complete tangent. And remembering how much I love the steak. Right, so I need to press this button, which brings the water up. To be fair, I don't think this uh, this one is as hard as the, some of the other cha gym challenges. Because I think it's pretty obvious, like, there aren't different ways to go. It will just keep directing you forward. Unless it's going to absolutely mindfuck me. I see you want to use a wingle, do you, sir? Uh, body slam should finish it. Again, I want to try and preserve some of my body slams for the gym leader, but between Gastrodon and all my other Pokemon, I think we'll be all right. Like, yeah, Paragon's not going to have type advantage, but he's fast and close combat's going to one-shot most of the Pokemon that I come up against. Uh, Yoshi, what type of state do you like? Medium rare or something else? I used to like medium rare. Um, I'm more of a medium now. Like, I don't like my steak too well done. But equally, I don't like it that bloody. So mediums, medium works quite well. Sometimes medium rare. But uh, yeah, I tend to opt towards medium. What do you guys go for? Um, back of Sanjay with the poker type. So you, you redeemed the, I'm guessing, the random uh, emote. Uh, I hope you're happy with your, your result. Popo hype was one of the original three that I added to the channel. And... Uh, yeah, I love the Popo hype. <laughs> uh, I love medium and well done. Medium, yes. Well done. I, I don't like my steak too like um, charred or burnt on the outside. So yeah, I tend to go for um, go for medium. That's kind of the right balance for me. Okay, so there's a nice big yellow switch there, but I don't quite want to hit that, I don't think. Okay, so I've beaten that kid. I've come from here. So, I'm guessing it's this one kid. I'm hoping that this is just going to take me all the way up now. What do you have with your steak, Yoji? Like, do you go for chips like me? Or, dare I say it, I know some people do. Do you go for a salad? If you go for a salad, fair enough. But, yeah, not my way. All, all about the, um, all about the chips. If you're having a steak, you might as well just go all the way out of it. A body slam is just such a good move. I'm literally just one-shotting everything. Um, Ada, why don't you F? Or why don't you do? I don't know what you mean, Ada. Uh, Yoshi, I go for chips. I go for chips as well, like proper nice steak cut chips. Ada, why don't you just do a normal JP grind stream? Um, what I found is that people don't tend to watch grind streams. So people tend to... People enjoy content that they can watch when there's something on the line. So when there's summons or there's difficult content that they want to watch or get tips for. If they want to see you no know item and they become invested. Um, a lot of people won't hang around for just like your typical grind or just a farming session or something like that. If I was going to do something like that, I'd probably title it like a just chatting session or something like that. And then I would, I'd just be, I'd literally just be talking to you guys and playing all sorts of games. And then I'd just be playing Doken in the background. Um, but yeah, but with Doken streams, I don't want it, to, I don't want people to get bored with Doken, my Doken content. So I will, I will always just try and mix it up a little bit. So I've done a lot of Doken. So I think my last three or four streams in a row have all been Doken. So I wanted to give Pokemon some love. Uh, as I said, I, I do want to go back and do Crash Bandicoot as well. Um, 
in terms of JP grinding, I'm not going to be spending loads and loads of time on JP. So, like, at the moment, I've got JP on one phone and Global on one phone as well. So, I'm literally... Global is my main, and I'm getting everything done there. And JP is literally just easy to set it to auto and just let it farm stones for me that I can summon with. That's pretty much all I'm using JP for at the moment. Like, I really want the Super Saiyan 4s, and I... I'm gonna get them awakened, and I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put some time in my JP account, but it's not something that you you're gonna get used to seeing too much on stream. Um, firstly, because I can't speak Japanese, and when you've got all this new content and stuff dropping, like I can't read it, and yeah, I don't know. I I I've put too much time into my global main to fully convert to JP. Um, Baka, you should try mum steak. Tim makes good steak. Um, that's all about steak and rice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to read it. I'm fighting another Gyarados. Why? Why are Gyarados is just everywhere? Skull. That that shouldn't be too bad. Could have burnt though, which I'm quite happy it didn't. Uh, we'll take ancient power, so that should be Gyarados dead. At least that's let us save a couple of our body slams as well. Bob grew to 33. Um, Barboach, I can just body slam that. That is not an issue. Ada, Applehan. <laughs> like, Applehan has been very popular. So, for the guys that are watching and are chatting, how many times do you think Applehan has been used on my channel in the last month? Like, just a, just a rough estimate. This one emote, obviously I know that Backer's reasonably new to the channel and the stream. Um, but... I think Yoshi's been around a good bit as well. How lot? How many times do you reckon? Um, how many times do you reckon Applehan's been used in the last month? Um, Ada a lot because of me. It's not just you, Yoshi. Applehan's been used over 120 times. Well, I, I suppose you're right there. It's been used over 120 times. Um, when I checked as of like after my afternoon stream, it's been used 2,600 times on my streams in the last month. <laughs> It's been used like a thousand times on other people's streams as well. So it's not like, it's just a popular emote that isn't like, it's not just on mine. Um, Bob's evolving. I'm getting a bronze on. <laughs> I do like the shiny bronze ore as well. Like it's like completely like a nice dark green. And that makes bronze ore look pretty good as well. Ada, I've been spamming my butt. Yeah, I, I hadn't noticed you'd been spamming it. Hadn't noticed. <laughs> uh, it can summon rain clouds. People long ago revered it as a bringer of plentiful harvests. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised. Um, does it want to learn block? I'm not too fussed about learning block. I'll, I'll admit. Uh, Yoshi, dang. Yeah, it's like my most popular remote by far. Uh, I can't think of what the second most popular one at this point is off the top of my head, though. Um... So, I've just got myself stuck there, then. So, I'm guessing I hit that. And then... I'm just getting dizzy now. So, is there a way back up? There we go. So, this should be it now. I'm hit guessing I hit that blue thing and jump across. And then I'm good. It's a Shellos. Is it a red one? Yeah, so that's the red one. So, you know, we were saying we saw the green one earlier. That's like the pinky red one. That's the baby version of what I'm using. Um, I'm running out of body slabs. I'm hoping I don't need to keep using them. Rain dance. That's fine. I'm going to use a muddy water and that should be Shellos done. Muddy water. Storm Drain! Oh damn, so I've used a water attack on it, so it's uh, it's got stronger. And it knows Recover, what an asshole. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to need to use uh, body, waste another one of my precious body slams on this. There was me thinking I could just one shot and finish it off with a nice muddy water, but no, no, it didn't work my way. Of course it didn't. Uh, a wingle. Okay, so I am going to switch just because I want to spread the love. You know what? Let's go for Bob. 
Let's give a fully evolved Bob a run out. If anything, I'm thinking I should have called this uh, Pokemon End because it looks like a bell. Um, extra sensory. I th I didn't know that steel wasn't effective against flying. I'm guess oh, unless it's just steel not very effective against water. Okay, so he's returned. What what good's that? He's bringing out another Chelos. Oh, so that's the blue one. So this guy's literally got both Chelos's. Ada jumping off. Uh, I'm a go, Barber Town. Have a good stream and night. Hope you're doing well. Yes, well, by all means, man. Thank you for stopping by for as long as you have, Ada. Really appreciate it, bud. Um, yeah, have a great night. If you do any more streams today or tomorrow, I'll, I'll try and drop by. Um, but yeah, thanks for dropping by, man. Really appreciate it. See you. God bless. Yeah, bye, Ada. Thank you for dropping by, man. As I said, really appreciate it. Um, so, okay, so that's the Wingle. And we are going to extrasensory the hell out of it for running away. Rain dance. I think it should already be raining from um from that shellos. What was that? Extra sensory. Oh wow. Yeah, extra sensory did the job. A backer blat. <laughs> okay, so this I, I'm hoping this is the last trainer and then we're just on to the gym leader. Um, I am going to go heal my Gastrodon. We'll give him some milk. That, that's healed him up nice. He, he's feeling good now. Okay, so blue brings it all the way up. I've beaten this dude. Um, that's if I want to get out, but I, I'm good. I don't want to reset my progress. And we'll go beat this dude. The masked master, as I've heard him referred to. Okay, let's 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 beat this gym leader then. First gym, first water type gym leader. That Gastrodon's actually been such a good catch for us because he's just been absolutely smashing it. If anything, it's good that he's sending out Gyarados first because I can use a couple of um, ancient powers to try and get um, stat boosts. Intimidate. I'm not not too fussed about that. Um, two ancient powers, although intimidate might be annoying from the point of view that. Body slam's quite a physical attack. Like, an ancient power uh, stat boost is going to be massive for us if we can get it. One more. Hopefully we don't flinch from these crunches as well. Stat boost? No. Um, but this should be... Unless he gets a... I was going to say, unless he gets a crit, but of course, no, he heals. Of course. Um, I'm going to have to go for a body slam. I feel like I should have acid armoured. Maybe I should have done that at the beginning of this fight. Uh, yeah, struggling a little bit there. Um... I could try Pumba. He's been using a lot of crunch. So we'll, we'll try Butthole, actually. See how that works. Mm. So yeah, there's the crunch. We'll try Slash. See if we can get a crit. Please don't flinch. One more slash. We got the crit. So yeah, one more slash is 100% killing. Why is he super... <laughs> Why is he super portioning? Okay, so let's just keep going through this. We're getting the crits. That's doing stuff for us. Brine. That's going to hurt. Do we get another crit? Because I think... Uh, screw, uh, I think Butthole's dead either way. Unless he goes for a super potion. Um, oh damn, Crunch <laughs> Butthole toughed it out so I wouldn't feel sad what an MVP he's literally just stuck on there and uh, he's just wiped out that Gyarados, that little scorpion just taking on a massive water dragon um, 
Butthole grew to level 33 and wants to learn Toxic off the back of it. Um, I'll probably teach Toxic instead of Toxic Spikes. Although Toxic Spikes poisons all of them. Yeah, if anything, I'll leave Toxic Spikes for now. I'm quite happy with Toxic. Uh, I'll leave Toxics and happy with Toxic Spikes. Uh, he's bringing out a Quagsire. Um, I'm going to throw Gastrodon out again, just because I think I can do some damage here with Body Slams. Um, but Butthole is a legend. Butthole actually did work for me there. Like, that crit, and uh, he, did, well, he did three out of four crits with Slash, and then, um, and then holding on by one HP, because he didn't want to make me sad. Uh, let's go for an Acid Armor. Just to smash my defense. Okay, that's not the end of the world. And then I'm going to heal up with a uh, Moo Moo Milk. And then Gastrodon should be good. It's annoying that he's had his um, accuracy lowered, but I'll take it. We're in a really good position now. We've got really high defense. We're a tanky mon anyway. Uh, this shouldn't do too much. Yeah. Uh, now we're just going to... Of course it burns! Of course it burns! Okay, so if Gastron can just take out this Quagsire, he's done his job. Uh, he's got three body slams left anyway. So Quagsire is quite tanky. Oh, yeah. If we can paralyze him in, in these three turns, I'll, again, I'll take that as well. Um, it might just be down to Paragon to use c close combat and see it off. I think this burn's going to get the best of us. He's just ruining me. Oh, so it's my speed he's going. For some reason, I was thinking ac accuracy. Back up. Butthole is God. <laughs> butthole is God. Like, legit. He's like, I don't want to make you sad, boss. I'm, I'm going to take this bite from this massive water serpent. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to clutch it for you. And he absolutely did. Like, but butthole was a good name. He he, he has been a little butthole at times, but he, he's come through in clutch as well. Okay, so Gastrodon's not going to make another turn. Uh, we'll go for a muddy water to see if we can like lower his accuracy or something before we go. I think this has killed us though. Yeah. Um, no issue though. No issue. We are going to put Paragon out, I think, and just punch him. That 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 tends to work pretty well. A Scald could be quite scary for us if we get caught with it. Paragon turned back and nodded back at you understandingly. Uh, so he knows what we're going to do. We're going to punch him. Let's go! Low is my defense. So if anything, I've got another close combat in me before Paragon starts taking damage. Whatever so fast as well, we are realistically going to do more damage than we take. So, he's putting out a Floatzel. Oh, damn. Hey there. That there was a good move. Well, damn, it was my close combat. Uh, Yoshi, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, close combat again. Okay, so that's us dead. Five HP. Five. Bit of a pinch. It looks like it might cry. Instead, it's going to punch its way out. It's going to go out blessed. Smashed it. Where we've had our defense and special defense lowered, and then we've been hit with a tight disadvantage, like pretty strong attack. I thought like Paragon, it was game over then. But no, uh, Yoshi, close combat is godly. Close combat has done the business for us. Close combat has literally got us through Quagsire and Floatzel in one hit. And that is our badge. So I'm guessing that's going to give us Surf or Rock Climb. Defog. Oh damn, is that it? I got defog. Amazing. Brine. That's a good attack. If anything, I'm actually gonna put, go put that on uh, on Penny right now. Just 
So we've got Trick Room, Aerial Ace, and Brine. If a target's HP is half or less, this attack will hit with double power. But I think... Nah, I thought it was stronger than what it was. Uh, right, let's get out of here. And then let's go investigate those marshlands where I hear... I hear there is some rare Pokemon. Let's go heal up first. Like, our Pokemon did bits in that in that gym. I was really proud of Gastron. Gastron literally soloed the whole gym. And then Butthole did work. And then Paragon came in and just went blasting. Like, everyone did bits there. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Uh, I think we're fine with Pokeballs as well. Um, I'll stop by the shop quickly just to see if I need to stock up at all. I say, I'm pretty sure I saw the Mart over here. Butthole cared for your feelings. He really did. Like, he, he didn't want me to be sad, so he absolutely smashed it for me. Um, right, we've got some bare dollar again. Let's go add some random balls. I'm not fussed about the net ball. Ooh. I'm not fussed about the nest ball. Um, makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon at night or in dark places. That could be helpful. We'll, we'll go grab a couple of them. Um, I'll take some super potions. And then I'll take a couple of revives as well, just in case. But at least we are pretty stocked up now. Like, we are sorted for most eventualities. Yeah, we've, we've got escape ropes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Backer, Mink Mink? <laughs> what's even that? What's Mink Mink supposed to mean? That just reminds me of, like, um, what is it? Uh, Roadrunner from um, Wiley Coyote. Like, me me. Pastoria Great Marsh Observatory Gate. But I want to go into the Great Marsh. Okay, so I'm guessing I can. I'm guessing this is the observatory bit. Oh, you can see what kinds of Pokemon are around. Oh, so the Great Marsh changes all the time. Oh, damn, I've literally spent most of my money. Okay, so I can find pennies in this area. Which I'm not fussed about. Roselia's there. I think I do need a Roselia. Um, Yoshi, you are broke now. I actually am broke. I spent a lot of my dollar there. Um, but I, I think I've got some stuff that I can go sell. A Skaroopy, I I'm fine with that. You can catch a Quag's Eye here. Okay, so I I wouldn't mind a Quagsire. We've just seen how strong a Quagsire can be. Bibiral, not fast. Azuril, I would like the Azuril. That so where those two rocks are. Stravia, I'm not fast. Maril, I'm, I'm not fast. Bibiral, again, I'm not fast. And um, what can we find here? So Azuril's probably the only one that I'd look at and be like, I'd want that. But I can't remember whereabouts the Azuril was. I'm actually going to have to go respend my money here. Uh, Yoshi, I spent my token things to unlock a moat, and I don't even know if it gave me it. Oh, damn. Um, well, go have a look at your moats and see what it gave you. So that's the quag's eye. So I'm pretty sure the Azura is where there's two rocks. We'll just go and have a look around. We'll go have a look around. But yeah, check your remotes and see. Because I would have liked to have thought you'd have been given what you needed. Oh, so it says like some Savari zone. Damn. All you can catch for 500. Okay, damn. Um, I'm literally broke. 
So. I need to try and remember where I want to go. So I'm pretty sure all the Pokemon I wanted was in the right hand side. What's this kid here? Let's take the quick cram. Again, I don't know what area I want to go to, but I'm I'm hopping in. Okay, what we found? Uh, Bibberal. We have Bibberals. Uh, never mind, I found it. Oh, you wanted the Goku laughing one. Oh, man, I'm glad that you liked that one. That's a pretty cool one as well. Like, it's just a pretty, just a classic lol. Uh, you just can't really go wrong with a good lol one. Of course, Bibberal fled. So, I'm guessing that's going to be the challenge then, is just trying to keep them around. A whooper, I've, I've got one of them. Imagine if you found a shiny here and you can't even catch it. I didn't mean to throw the safari ball there. But yeah, you can't even catch it. And uh, it runs. So it looks like we've got another whooper. <laughs> if we can't catch a quagsire, then at least we've got a whooper that is literally ready to evolve into a quagsire. Uh, so that Goku lol emote, Yoshi, is that your favourite emote that we've got on this channel? Or are there any that you'd like to see? Uh, give me these items so I think these rocks look familiar show me Azura like I haven't found anything like anything remotely kind of rare or something I'd be scared of scared of uh, anything I'd be like oh I want to catch this uh, back out, I'm going to go look for one that has uh, something. I'll be right back. Uh, enjoy. I think. Uh, I like the Apple Hard emote the most. A lot of people do. Oh, we got the Quagsire! Um, yeah, a lot of people do love Apple Hard. He's just like a token, a symbol of our community. Uh, as you can see from like, the logo that one of our followers make. Like, it's just unreal. Um, I, I, in fact, I really love like the way the community's kind of adopted him, and it's just like I don't know. If anyone uh, says anything bad about him, like they just get shouted down. We'll throw another ball. Of course he flees. I'm guessing that's probably me. I'm guessing I'm supposed to bait them or something like that as well. A Starly, absolutely not. Yeet that away from me. Do not want a Starly. But I'm guessing like Team Galactic are going to do something here. A Marrel. I think that's my first Marrel encounter. Like there isn't a ball next to it, so I, I'm guessing I haven't caught it. Uh, if I throw another ball at it, maybe that'll make it stay. I always, I never know like what throwing a bait, uh, or throwing bait or throwing mud does. Like, does that just make it stay around now? So I'm guessing throwing mud at it weakens it so that I can catch it. Oh, hey, we got Marrow. Again, ideally, I want to get the Azumarill as well, so I, that I've got the baby. But uh, I'll, I'll take the Marrow. I just remember Marrow. What was it? Tracy from the Orange Islands owned a Marrow, and another Marrow. I remember on Pokemon Go as well when uh, Marrow came out, you could get it um, a shiny version of it, which was green. I absolutely smashed the game trying to get that marrow. Okay, so what have we got around here? 
That's a uh, Staravia. Yeah. Uh, accidentally threw a ball. I think I've already got a Staravia, so I'm not too fussed about this. Yeah. No. If that runs away, it's doing me a favour. Right. Let's run from that. There's a random girl here. I haven't found anything. I'd be like, ooh. Like, yeah, I wanted the quags are. I'm glad we've got a Marrow as well, but yeah. Like, when they said there was rare Pokemon, I, I was like, ooh. Like, that'd be cool. Instead, I'm just finding grown-up versions of, like, the ones that I've already seen elsewhere. What is with this deep mud? Get out of here. I mean, we are in, like, I think we're in the deepest part of the marsh. And, yeah, not impressed. What can I say? Yeah, because that's the end of the tracks. So we have to be at, like, the deepest part. Like, there isn't anything that I'd be like, oh, my God. It's not like the old Safari Zone, like the original OG games, where you get like Scythers and Tauroses, and like literally those kind of Pokemon that you can't find anywhere else. Okay, so these rocks look familiar. I think this is where I can find Azurals. Or another Wooper, you know. I keep accidentally pressing the ball. Let's go. Okay. Anything of any interest around here? Another bitterl. Again, with the accidental ball throw. <laughs> I'm glad I've come in here, though, because I would have wanted to have checked out for myself just to see exactly what rare Pokemon there are. Um, yeah, not impressed. Meh. Meh. Um, I'm going to get stuck in the mud. I can just tell. A Badoo! Uh, already got one of those earlier in the game. So, yeah, again, that's another run from me. Yoshi, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm guessing that's what you mean by YWM. Oh, I've just seen a Mr. Knight. A Quagsire. That ran away from me last time, I think. So, yeah, if we can ball this Quagsire again. Give me another chance there. Watching carefully. Two. Ah, almost had it. Even though we know three shakes is it almost had it. God. I think after this one it's going to run. I might try bait after this just in case. Two. Three. Let's go. We got the quags high. Again, I'm probably not even going to use it, but it just saves me having to go back and evolve a Wooper. I've just seen there that I've missed an item as well that I want to go back and get if I can. While I'm here, I might as well get everything because I'm not sure if I'll come back. Although, it depends what Team Galactic's planning because they're saying that this is a good place to let off our package. So now that I've got that gym badge, I might just go back to the guy and see what he says. Because he was making fun of me for having X amount of gym badges. So if I get another gym... Now that I've got that gym badge from uh, this place. Like, maybe he's going to treat me like an adult. Okay, give me that item. All that, and it is a potion. Uh, Skroopy! 
I love the shiny versions of Scroopies. They're like uh, like a kind of blood red color. Uh, they look unreal. Obviously, I'm throwing a ball here, but I've got a butthole. So I, I'm very happy with my butthole Scroopy. I, I don't need another one. That can go to the box as well. The box of no return. That's how you win, but I'm not winning. Like, I did that. There was nothing of interest. I'm guessing it's like if you want to shiny hunt a certain Pokemon, you know where it is. Oh my god, I've thrown another ball! And we've caught another penny. <laughs> if only this was Arceus and, like, we needed to get, like, big versions and small versions and just everything. What have we got here? Another Badu! I'm still hoping that we find like a full odd shiny. Like, that would be hype. But I, I say that, I've only ever found one full odd shiny. Uh, that was playing, what was it? I think it was Sun and Moon, and I found a full odd shiny Spearow right in the early game. Uh, Yoshi, I'm ahead out. It was nice watching your stream, man. Yeah, well, it was really good to have you here, man. Like, thank you for hanging around for as long as you have. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your birthday. Um, enjoy being 15, man. Um, but yeah, thank again, genuinely, thank you so much for being here and just have a great day. Enjoy your stay. You've definitely earned it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you get that Switch as well. Let me know if you do get your Switch. And if you get this game, we can always battle or trade and all that kind of stuff as well. But yeah, have a great day, bud. Uh, so, anything around here? I don't think so. Run from that. Anything down here? Uh, Bibble. Um, we'll try and do a little fish as well and see if there's... I keep throwing balls. Um, I see if there's like um, a, a kind of decent Pokemon that I can fish out. Imagine if I pull out like a Dratini or something like that. I'm like, oh my god. I don't think I've seen any dragons yet in this game. Um, there's the rod. Nothing biting. Not even a nibble, apparently. I won't even be able to come back in it. I I'm broke. I am poker dollar broke. I don't even have the 500 coins after my latest shopping spree. Let's try down here. Show me a magic up. No, again, yeah, not even a nibble. That's surprising. Ding dong, time's up. Um, I caught a couple things. The quags are in the marrow. It's probably all that stands out. Uh, let's talk to this guy again. Haha, <laughs> the package finally came from Wellstone Warehouse. Now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. So he's go. So I need to go back to the lake house. Uh, to the lake house. Okay, so yeah, I, I was right. He's being very suspicious. Uh, off to the lake we go. Ah, it's Dog. Dog help desk. Whoops. Hey, I'm not going to plow into you every time we meet. How's it going, Barwin? Buffing up your Pokemon. Really? I'm literally investigating. Uh, Backer's going to head out as well. Again, Backer, really nice to talk to you, bud. Thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, I've seen that you followed as well. Really, thank thank you for the follow. Hopefully, you'll come back for future content and future streams as well. Again, we do a lot of Dokken. We do a lot of Pokemon. And just all, a little bit of everything, really, man. So, uh, yeah, hopefully see you around. Hope you have a good day as well. Redeemed a Hydrate on the way out. So, uh, I'll do that as well. But yeah, thank you, man. Really nice to talk to you. And I'll catch you in the next stream, man. 
Um, right. We will use Ancient Power on this Starly. Hopefully, we, again, we can just start setting ourselves up for a stat boost and uh, just pulverize. I, I don't think we're going to struggle in this fight. Oh, damn. Like, that double team's done me. What is going on? Endeavor's just ruined me. And he's just dodged it again. Like, if he uses Endeavor again, he's actually killed my Gastrodon. There we go. That's Starly done. Damn, I didn't think that was going to be as hard as it was to take out that little brood. Probably should have switched out for Roselia. Um... We'll go for a body slam. I feel that's going to be the way forward. Magical leaf. That's going to kill me. Yeah. My bad. Gastrodon's not going to like me after that. Uh, let's go Paragon. And even if he brings out... Uh, what is it? Piplup. I can't remember what Piplup evolves into. I remember the last one's Napoleon. I'm always bad at remembering the teenage ones. Um, but yeah, we, we'll just have close combat in our back pocket. Such a good move to learn close combat. I'm so glad we learned it. That's it. I knew you could do it, Paragon. Perfessory Primplup. That's the one. Oh, that was annoying me. <laughs> I couldn't remember who it was. But thank you, man. I, thank you for still being here as well, Professor. I know we've been going on for like nearly two hours. So, uh, yeah, thank you for, for sticking it out. How's your evening been since you got back from work? You've been having a nice chill? Uh, Ponyta. Okay, so, yeah, we should just be able to close combat it out at this point. Like, we, we, we should be just one-shotting everything. I don't even care that our defense is go it's going because we're not going to get hit. If anything, I'm not very impressed with his team. He's got, he's got like, basics. Like, he's got his starter, and he's got ones that you would have ca caught in the first couple of routes. He hasn't actually caught anything of interest. And, yeah, close combat again. Free man, you killed my Castrodon. Paragon landed a critical hit wanting to be praised. What is going on? It's really it's really helping me out. Like first we had Butthole holding on because he didn't want to make me cry. And Paragon's just got a critical hit because he wanted to be praised. Uh Professor, I'm chilling, talking with some friends in WhatsApp while altering Doken battle and watching the stream. I'm keeping myself busy. To be fair, you're do you're what? Doing three things at once, like you're absolutely smashing it. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad you're having a nice chill evening. Like sometimes there's just nothing better than chilling after a hard day at work. So genuinely, I'm I'm just glad you're relaxed. I'm glad you're enjoying the content as well. If you're still here, uh, all right, Barwood. Next time, I'm not going to hold back. You you've lost every time. You're literally what zero for four at this point, dog. Give up. Uh, yeah, let's go heal and we'll head over to the lake. Can't believe Gastrodon got nearly killed by that Starly. Like, that was just a solid Starly. Um, let's go. If anything, I don't think I'll do all of the lake. I think I'll probably just get there. And then we've been going for nearly two hours. I know for a lot of streamers, like that's that's not a lot. And people go for like four to six hours or something like that. But for Barwood Town streams, that's pretty long. But I'll, I'll go and get to the lake so that we can at least, we, we can just lift off from there on our next stream. If anything, I'll probably do a Pokemon stream. I want to get more of this game done, so I doubt I'm going to do it tomorrow, just because I'm doing board games in the evening. Um, I'll probably do a decent length Pokemon stream on Saturday, uh, and see if we can get a bit more. So I think we've, we've that's our fourth or fifth gym badge. Oh, hey. So, this guy's literally... We're supposed to just follow him all the way. So, they've literally made it so... Oh, yeah, come follow this guy. And you just keep talking to him, and he'll just keep leading you where you need to be. Like, why is it always left up to a little kid to go and deal with all this? Like, where are the police? Where are the adults? I need an adult. Do 
He's just going to keep running away from a child. Still on my tail. The lake's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will knock you out. Come on then, bro. You want to go? He's got the package as well. So either he's going to give me the package or he's going to drop the package and run. Uh, we'll go for a body slam. Just can't go wrong with body slam. It's just such a good attack. Like at, th at this point, where we've got such a high level advantage over a lot of the Pokemon we're fighting, it's just one shot killing so many. This game just feels like a lot easier than some of the other ones because we've just naturally leveled up so much. So he's literally still running off. Like, no, come back here and give me the stuff. Okay, so Cynthia. They say there is an island inside the lake and there's a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber. Sorry to change the subject. Have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes. Okay, so it's helping me get past the side up that we saw earlier. So they've gone to go use this thing at this lake, but... But why can't I get through? Um, so, help the group of side up. Where are they? There, so can I just fly to there? And it's a Staraptor that comes and helps us. Well, at least we know what we're doing now. Um, we're we didn't take any damage, so we're, we're not at risk of anything there. Let's go f help the cider. Uh, we've got some berries here. Let's go sort this out. All about the cherry berries. Let's get all these berries. We'll go and replant some. Well, we'll have a look. There's a couple of ones. I think I've only got one of. So we'll go do that because we got given a random berry, didn't we? A Roap berry. Uh, let's not sprinkle the water yet because I want to plant these. Um, I've got citrus berries everywhere, to be honest. Uh, I suppose it can't hurt to still plant more. Uh, citrus berry, I do find it is one of the more useful berries in the game, so 100% want as many of them as I can. And let's water them. And there's the cider. So, if anything, let's call it a day there, guys. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed the stream. We've done another two hours. We've got another gym. We've done some Team Galactic stuff, done a fair bit of traveling. We've also got the medicine that we need for the Psyduck. Um, but yeah, thank you for dropping by for everyone that has. I've really enjoyed the stream. Um, I doubt I'm going to be back tomorrow with more Pokemon, but I should be back on Saturday. Um, I'll have a good bit of time on Saturday to stream. So yeah, want to try and get a bit more of this game done. I'm really enjoying it. I still want to find my first shiny though. Still want to find my first shiny. But at least we've got the next gym badge. And we're, we shouldn't be too far away from getting the one after that as well. Again, thank you for dropping by, guys. This has been Barber Town. If you've liked the content, I hope you like, follow, sub, all of that good stuff. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the...